the heart um, stops beating, the brain continues uh, for some time, uh, 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, but what's also interesting is, is that the actual type of activity in the brain is that that we know from other experiments is associated with consciousness. So the idea is, is that the brain is capable of supporting some aspect of experience after the heart has stopped. And so that rat experience you... equates to human experience? No, we don't. Um, we, we use it as a comparative model. The types of brain frequencies that were recorded in the rat brains are known through other experiments to be associated with human uh, visual consciousness and human visual awareness. So it's true that we are, uh, there is a bit of a, uh, a leap uh, um, in, in, in the conclusion there, but the premise is very sound. Jason, a lot of people who've been... That's, that's right. What happens is, is when the heart stops beating stops oxygen speaking. to the brain, and then the brain starts to get very confused, and when it gets into that state, it starts to hyperfire. It starts to become very disorganized, and activity in the brain, like fire through the brain, massively increases. If that happens in the visual cortex, the part of the brain that's responsible for processing visual information, then you will start to see visual phenomena. And it's been known for a number of years, uh, too, that some of that visual phenomena is the same of a bright light uh, at the end of a tunnel and as the disorganization increases that bright light increases giving the observer the feeling of traveling towards the light. Well I think there are a number of uh, uh, possible things to explore with near-death experience. I think the important thing here is that it establishes what neuroscientists have speculated on for a, a, a long time and that is, is that around the time of death and around the time that, that, of cardiac insufficiency and arrest that the brain is still capable, um, at least theoretically, of supporting coherent experience. That still needs to be explored in human subjects, um, but the premise has been established, and that's quite Question. important. And the honest answer is we don't know. I mean, these, this study was done on rat brains, but the implication is we know from broader science that certain frequencies in the brain are associated with visual awareness. So when you are awake and you are aware, there are certain frequencies present in the brain. When you are anesthetized um, or unconscious, those frequencies are absent. In this study, those frequencies associated with consciousness, and particularly with visual awareness, were present in the brain after the heart had stopped. And that's the, the inference that these researchers are making.